First, let's download the Node.js installer. To do that, open your web browser, and in the search bar, simply type Node.js download and hit enter. Now look for the official Node.js website, which should be the first result. Go ahead and click on that link. Now that we're on the official Node.js website, you'll see various options for downloading Node.js. For this tutorial, we'll go with the pre-built installer, as it's the most straightforward option for most users. I'm going to choose the LTS version of Node.js, which is v20.7.0. This version is stable and recommended for most users. Next, I'll select the operating system. The architecture is already set to x64, which is appropriate for most modern systems, so I'll leave that as is. Once everything is set, click on the Download Node.js to begin the download. You can see the download has started. Once the download is complete, click on the downloaded installer file to start the installation. Click Next on the welcome screen, accept the license agreement, and stick with the default installation option. On the following screen, you have an important choice. If you plan to use Node.js with packages that require native modules, those are modules written in C or C++, make sure to tick the box that says automatically install the necessary tools. Now you're ready to begin the installation. Click install and the process will start. You'll see a progress bar showing you how much is left. You chose to install the optional tools for native modules, a command prompt window will open automatically after the main installation is complete. This window will download and install Python and other build tools necessary for compiling native modules. Just let it run, and don't close the window until it's finished. Now that Node.js is installed, we need to verify that everything is set up correctly. First, open your terminal or command prompt. You can do this by typing command in the search bar and pressing enter. To check the Node.js version, type node-v and press enter. You should see something like this. This indicates that Node.js is installed correctly. Next, let's check the npm version. Type npm-v and press enter. You should see a version number for npm as well, confirming that npm is installed correctly. And that's it. You've successfully installed Node.js and verified the installation by checking the versions of Node.js and NPM. Now you're all set to start building with Node.js. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy coding!